Today we're going to be talking about rabbit sticks. Now, I know you might not know exactly what a rabbit stick is. Now, I mean, neither did I until recently. But what a rabbit stick is, is essentially a stick that you throw and you hunt small game with. Now, I know at first you might just look at this and think, oh, it's just a stick with like a curve in it. Or I mean, heck, this one doesn't even really have that much of a curve. But I promise you, this is a lot more effective than it looks. Um, so that's why I'm going to start off with a few of uh, just demos of what this thing can do if you test it and whatnot. So let's get right to that. I found this video a few weeks back about, um, I think the creator was Sage Smoke Survival, whatever it is, I'll put it right here. Anyway, so this person talked about how they um, made a rabbit stick and how they would like to use it like in, to hunt with and you know have it their main reliant weapon. I thought it was really, really cool. And so I went out and I made my first rabbit stick. This guy. This is a real heavy hitter. This thing can like knock your socks off. I'll say that. One hit to this anywhere. If you hit like a rabbit in like its leg, this thing's not getting up or at least I don't think so. And then I made a few others like this one. I made some for today's video, which is these two. And so that's what we're doing today. We're going to be making these two rabbit sticks. Okay, so as you can see right here, there is a natural curve in the uh, wood right here. And this is a thick boy. This is really thick stuff. Or rabbit stick thick, I'll say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this down right here. And bring it back and that's it. So you got your rabbit stick right here. And uh, it doesn't need to be perfect. Like you can see this one has a little bit of a curve upwards. But that's okay, I think this will still work really well. You are going to be cleaning up all of the uh, pretty much imperfections, like all the knots in this. Just getting the tops off, you know, making sure everything's, you know, nice and even. Uh, you don't want to take too much away because this is just the first step. Uh, but you can see right here, this was sticking out. Now it's not. Uh, that's really all you want to do. Stuff like that. Okay, so now uh, what you want to do is you want to make one side completely flat and you want to make the other side pretty curved. Like, as you can see on, this is my thicker one, so this might be a little harder to see, but you see this side is completely flat, and then this side is curved. So it kind of looks like that. That's how you're gonna get the best, because this is gonna sail, and it's gonna go on that flat edge. It's aerodynamic, that's where they put it. And so I've made a few rabbit sticks now, I think I've made two not including this one. And so you want to first decide your flat edge. I'm thinking this piece is designed for this to be the, or this piece is designed for this to be the flat edge. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Making this part the flat edge and this the head. Okay, so most importantly now, what you want to do is you want to make sure what your handle is and you know what your uh, head is. And so this is going to be my handle because I'm going to throw it this way. If you're right-handed like me, you're going to be throwing it this way, like this. And so you want the flat side to be here and you want the round side to be on top. And so you don't want to forget that. So right now what I'm going to be doing is just working on this and getting the flat side all done. So it's getting pretty dark out, but I'm pretty sure I can finish this, uh, or at least this one, before dark pad happens. So, it's pretty simple though. Like I said, uh, if you know how to make one rabbit stick, you can experiment, try a bunch of stuff, see how it flies, get to know the thing better, and then you'll be able to make pretty much any rabbit stick. You know, it doesn't matter if it's thick, straight, or just like this, you know? you'll be able to um, uh, know how to make a pretty easy rabbit stick if you just make a few, honestly. Uh, so yeah, 
what I did right now is I finished off the the flat edge. It's not 100% perfect. I'm gonna go back over it a little bit, but this is my basic flat edge for right now. So what I used is I used axe. I used mainly like this. You really don't wanna do this unless you're, you know, taking off big chunks of it. This is how you wanna, I actually put it like to put a finger on here for my specific axe. And then just kinda, you know, like here, here's a little piece I missed. I'll show you what I did. Just this. It's simple, it's easy. My opinion this gives me the best control for getting a really nice uh, flat edge then I got this knife uh, it's like a fake buck knife not bad 20 bucks I got it for um, but this is for like uh, just like oh you know getting all of it getting everything nice and smooth for the finer stuff this is important trust me then since I'm home I decided to use a file I thought you know why not just for this middle knot, this middle knot's really hard to get with a hatchet, so you don't need this at all. You really only need like a hatchet, I would say, but this just made my job a little easier for going on the uh, knot part. We're just, uh, you know, clearing off some stuff that's uh, on it. And something that throws a lot of people off when making rabbit sticks, or in my experience, is that you try and take all the bark off first and then work from there. Unless you have something like this thick, you shouldn't try and do that because you might accidentally, uh, you know, like go too much and then it's a big issue of, oh, it's too light and stuff. I recommend leaving the bark on for as long as you can. Uh, so yeah, don't go immediately trying to take that off. So what now, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna even this a little, out a little bit and then I'm gonna go straight into getting the curved side and I'll explain when I'm, when I'm done. Okay, fellas, sorry about that. I kind of lied to you. I said I'd be able to finish by dark, and I mean, it's functional by dark. It's just, you know, not 100% done. So what I did um, was I made this thing more curved. Um, I kind of curved this whole thing out, removed pretty much all the bark. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it inside. I realize that the handle's a little too long if you look. You see, like, this, in my opinion, would be perfect. This is just a little too much. You see what I'm saying? So I'm gonna cut this off and then I'm gonna get that all nice and smooth. Then what I'm gonna do is, uh, since I'm at my house, I'm gonna take this to a belt sander, get everything really smooth. If you're in the, you know, if you're out in the field, you don't really need to. This is just cause I wanted to get it to look nice for the video and the thumbnail so I can get more views and stuff. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go inside, do a little sanding. And uh, besides that, I did a test. We're good, this thing's good. Uh, yeah, this is actually really one of my favorites that I've made so far. So I'm pretty excited. While I'm editing, I just realized that for whatever reason, most of the second Rabbit Sticks creations footage is not working, there's no audio, and some of it's missing. So I'm just gonna explain what I did with the uh, footage that is salvageable. So first off, I just, you know, um, cleaned up. I made one side flat, and I left the bark on the other side because it's pretty dang round. And so I decided I wanted to make this one really different. I wanted to, um, number one, make a handle. I haven't really made a, like a proper handle on any of my rabbit sticks just yet. And so for making the handle, what I'm gonna do is I cut two slits in the, um, like uh, where I want the handle to end. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a hatchet and I'm just gonna chop until it hits the, um, uh, uh, cut and it's gonna break off. Sorry again for the uh, corrupted footage, but you know, that's just part of YouTube, I guess Okay, so here's the lineup We've got first up we have what I like to call the log this thing I didn't take the bark off this side for a reason. I think it looks cool and it should work pretty good This is a heavy hitter, you know, just real quick. I don't know 20-30 yards and clock and we're done. Next up, this one, I like to call Greg. Uh, don't ask me why, it just seems like a Greg. And so, this guy is for longer distances, or that's what I'm hoping it will be, you know. This will st still hit pretty hard, but not as hard as the log. And so, this should do really well for, I don't know, rabbits, squirrels, really 
this moment. This could probably take something like turkeys. I don't know. You know, too much back at that. And last, we have the stick. Just for fun. Because I want to see how well a regular old stick performed against these, uh, these guys. So that's the lineup. We're going to be trying to hit this garbage can right here from all the way back up over there. Oh, wait. All the way back over there, there. Yeah, okay. So let's do this. First up, we're gonna be doing Greg. Okay, so thoughts so far. I'm gonna do a little more testing, but as of right now, I really like the log the best. <laughs> All right, so back here, time to wrap this up. I, my ending thoughts are that this, in my opinion, I think is my favorite. The log, I love the way it feels, you know? The handle really helps, sure, but this thing's heavy enough where it'll do a very good punch to pretty much anything it hits. And it's small enough where you can put it in a bag or anything. And also it looks cool. Like, this is probably one of the cooler rabbit sticks I've made. You know, it's not just a piece of wood that has some bark on it. I doubt this is going to stay for very long, but it still looks cool while it remains. And so this thing actually turned out just being a slightly heavier version of the one I have already made previously, which this one was previous, this one's new. You can tell by how old the wood looks. So, all in all, rabbit sticks are great, man. They really are. They're fun to make, they're fun to, f like, throw, and they seem really effective, you know? Because at the end of the day, this is really just a stick that you throw at animals. How more primitive can you get, you know? If you did like the video, consider subscribing, consider liking, consider commenting. Let me know what you think of rabbit sticks. Have you made them before? Or, you know, is there anything you would like to see me make? Or, on top of that, there is a, um, there's a few, there's this website called, put them right here, they're called uh, Throw Sticks. This is where you can buy your own, like, custom rabbit sticks, and they're supposed to go really, really far. And so I want to think about, I was thinking about getting one of those, but only if you fellas are interested in it. If you are interested in it, please let me know. I'd like to, I'd like to buy it, but I wouldn't want to buy it and then have no one interested. So please do put your opinions and your wisdom and all of your kind words in the comments. And check out Sage Smoke Survival's video. It was a very good video. I watched it actually a few times to really make sure I was getting this thing right. See you next time and well, farewell.